Okay, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. You're still tuned in to Fantastic Fridays. And as you know, we're here with you every single Friday, Wednesday, and Friday. And all the Friday, them win on and Friday from 5 p.m. till 8 p.m. All right, so from me here, that intro, you know it is time for Talk the Ting with Kim. So this is where we discuss topics. Sometimes there are suggestions by our listeners. Other times they're just things that happen in our society or things that I probably noticed recently and, and it basically inspired a conversation or a whole thought process in my mind and this is actually what happened this week so for this week i have been watching clips of the whole clansman trial type of thing and the head of the clansman was giving some feedback about the fact that all the guys in the gang that didn't have a father figure and things that they grew up seeing and experiencing and stuff and it made me think of childhood trauma right and this is something that we need to learn to accept that a lot of the things we go through as children impacts us as adults right we may have certain traits certain habits certain things that we struggle with and we don't really understand what we struggle with we just think it's a struggle not knowing that there's a much deeper reason behind it right so we're gonna get into the topic of today which is understanding the effects of childhood trauma all right so as i said every single week guys i of course i'm here to educate you guys but i also look forward to learning from you as well so feel free to share your responses your feedback your opinions if you want to feel some type of way feel free to share it if you're on the whatsapp because that's usually where you guys um share most of your content so feel free to send us messages on our whatsapp number is 876 seven nine two three five three zero and if it is that you're on the instagram live feel free to share your comments there as well we will read them as the show goes on all right so as i said understanding the effects of childhood trauma yeah so the incidence of childhood trauma is eye-opening more than two-thirds of children repeat report yeah. at least one traumatic event by the age of 16. did you guys know that wow by the age of 16, two-thirds of children report at least one traumatic event. And at least one, I think, is very kind. Because I feel like, every day, especially in Jamaica, we are traumatized almost daily, right? So from bullying to abuse, trauma is an unfortunate part of growing up for many children. Mm -hmm. And the effects can very much carry over into adulthood. It's important to recognize the signs that past childhood trauma may still be haunting you. So we thought we'd review some of the more common warning flags here, all right? But before we even get into the warning flags, let's define trauma. Yeah, let's find out what that means. Because we often use these words sometimes when I know the full meaning. We just think trauma means we're hurt. That's what it means. Well, Kimmy, talk to it. Well... Well, first of all, what's the thing trauma is? That's what in your said. words, That's in like, your words, I'm in your saying words. it means some sort of hurt. That's what I get from trauma. Trauma, trauma is something that affects you on an um, emotional level. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, um, it's like a psychological kind of uh, damage. Mm -hmm. you know? um, yeah, all right, along so the lines of an emotional... So there's like a, a, an emotional experience tied to it. Yeah. All right, Jada, what do you think um, trauma means before we get into that? Um, trauma means for me is that something that has happened so drastic in your past that it's no, it's no, it's no causing you to you know probably react, react in a certain yeah, way react, or, or triggered by certain things you become triggered if it happens again or something along the line that led up to your traumatic experience happens again all right so i think that's a fair well you guys have good explanations right but the definition of trauma let's get to that trauma is a term used to describe the challenging emotional consequences that living through a distressing event can have for an individual. Right. Traumatic events can be difficult to define because the same event may be more traumatic for some people than others. 
right so we've all experienced things probably even the same thing but would impact all three of us differently mm -hmm. let's say for example that let me knock wood because i don't play these games um let's say that we were in a certain spot and someone got held up three different experiences in that one occasion right because somebody would have been fearful somebody would have been like yo make a figure to we go for mash up the person you know or something you know it would have a different perspective in that one scenario and mm -hmm. as such it would impact people differently a car accident can do the same thing some mm -hmm. one person might decide them not ever drive again somebody's like oh he's a part of life you know so all these things you can't really mm, i guess measure trauma gauge or it. gauge it right. exactly right so the shortened version really is a deeply distressing or disturbing experience okay so that's really what trauma is so when we're talking about childhood trauma, one of the first things to understand is that there's no set cause and effect relationship. There are many types of trauma and each person's reaction to the event depends upon a host of factors, such as whether you were able to process the event with the right support systems, right? So that's actually a uh, very important part when it comes to dealing with trauma, right? It doesn't mean that you can prevent trauma happening, especially to your, to your children. However, when it does happen, how do you help them to cope with it? How do you help them to get through it? You know, for example, the news story that you shared earlier with the student that stepped on the, the boy's shoe, that's yeah. trauma now. And then also for the students around them And the students well. around them, mm -hmm. exactly. And because I just saw a piece of the video you and it, right? basically the, the guys, the, the students had to lift him up and carry yeah. him. You know, that's trauma. Yeah. That's trauma. So it's not that you can prevent it because it's very difficult to share with how this world is going mm -hmm. and you're not always there that's the reality as yeah. a parent you're not always physically there and even if you're physically there sometime life just happens and comes at you fast because i think there was a a family that was traveling and ended up in an accident overseas so parents and everything was there but guess what? you can't prevent the accident you know especially if you weren't the one that's wrong so you really can't protect your children from trauma it's just how you help them to work through it so to give you a better idea about what constitutes trauma here are some common events so you have the childhood psychological abuse physical or sexual abuse so the psychological abuse is the way and i think we are very guilty of this jamaican parents out here we are very guilty of this we have a way with our words that isn't necessarily a good thing oh right sometimes we chastise and we talk down and we say you're coming like your father and you this say that you know so there's a lot of things that we have to consider when you're talking to your children i don't know if uh, can you guys relate to that you know there's certain things being said whether it is that your parents arguing and them complain to you about the other parent because that happens yeah right yeah. and that's trauma as well because that's also um affecting how you view that parent right Tr parents don't understand all the all the things that they do and say well, even if it's not directly to your child it still impacts the child and then one day they might go around and disrespect mommy and they you, you want to jerk them up but then you disrespected mommy yeah so what you expect they're gonna go on mm -hmm. you showed that that was okay to do you know so we have to be on uh, we have to be more cognizant of the things that we say and do our own or children especially what we do towards them right yeah. um for that when you're talking about yo there's this thing back in like early society i don't know like early jamaican society we used to hear you're walking this like your father yeah man regular thing i don't know if he's still i don't hear it regularly i, I hear it yeah I you see. gotta hear it regularly <laughs> Not no, in it, my it's, household. Exactly. No, not, so, and that's good. These are things they hear out on the road, Jay. Exactly. Because a lot of persons, also people who struggle with their skin, is because of how their parents is talk to them. You're black and ugly, like, and mm -hmm. you're black and this, and, mm -hmm. and nothing black good. I remember in a lecture the other day, and there was a girl that was saying, Listen, any guy that I brought to him was dark, my parents couldn't accept him. She was afraid to carry on boyfriends because once them dark, the parents just see them as good for nothing mm -hmm. and yes that happens in this and day was, and age was she dark yes she is so her grandmother <laughs> so that very means fond that of her. she's it. exactly she, she says either. she knows that her grandmother is not very fond of her because of that so right? her grandmother white no <laughs> But I'm saying it's wow. a psychological yeah, thing. Yeah, but no, but right? I'm just saying it's like they rule out them own self them with own the logic. Self. So they're like, you know what? Yeah. It's almost like they're saying, you know what? We're cursed. So we just need to ensure, say, <laughs> you know her. Exactly. So help I don't know if her father brown or what, but she's mm. she not as dark as like we are. Yeah. She's also, so probably 
the father was brown and they were saying, okay, this would have helped, but it never helped yeah. as much as they were never hoping. Try <laughs> never again. try, you know. Oh, but she boy. said it's re- literally something she struggles with up to this day. It's yeah. happening in 2023. Yeah, guys. it's hard for you to get out of, especially. I mean, we all have a bit of it because it's in our country. So we've all seen it. We know it go out with privileges and all these things. And who get you know better um, treatment in certain places? So it's there, same way. Exactly. Even though we might not have it in our house, but it's out there in the country. Or something will come from far, far, far. It, it, it kind of deep rooted in our in our culture. So it, you know, can't really. You know, got us going so because that's something will come from far. As a country people that say yeah. exactly yeah. right another common event that uh children may go through witnessing domestic violence Ooh. that one day is a big one right and i hope you guys know that as much as us people go through these things it doesn't mean automatically that okay they're going to be repeaters of these acts because i think it has to do how the turnout of the child happen or the person becomes is really dependent on the person because i've known people who grew up in an abusive family mm-hmm. or family structure and one decides say listen i saw my dad beat my mom and i decide Minaga ever do that well somebody else might be like okay well that's just how men should be you know that's so missing with my father do so mm-hmm. so that's how in my mind relationships are the man's supposed to be abusive you know so it oh. really depends on you also as a person how you deal with your trauma and cope with it some people use them as a it, they use it as like a motivation to not do that but other people accept it and actually amplify it and Let's become worse um, I, and pass it on yeah because i see here um pinky brewster says it's like they're descending the trauma to theirs from their yes. parents and parents know exactly what they are doing because their parents did it to them exactly but guess what doing it uh, or because it happened to us does not mean <laughs> that we pass it on to somebody else but are you aware that you're doing it though because sometimes we can be doing these things and, and we not, don't notice we don't know uh, right but That's also true. to add to that i've seen in certain cases where cheating how it is traumatic for a child oh, well, mm-hmm. for all parties involved for, not just for all parties but it's like well yes but yeah. <laughs> but like it, it is like for the child that oh if i see it happening or if i do it then it's okay it's okay mm-hmm. my dad did it mm-hmm. and i was having this conversation with someone one time and i was like well if i have a son and he ends up cheating on like he say he's dating mm-hmm. he's in that ear and he's dating Mm-hmm. And he's bringing infidelity into my household. I'm going to step in the situation and nip it in the bud. Mm-hmm. Mother Jada. Okay. Right? And they're like, why would you do that? Why would you turn on your son like that? And I'm like, hard, because wait, ironically, I have a lot of mothers out there that don't inter. Not saying that you're going to get involved, you no, know. No, you're not. But a lot of times, take, yeah. there are. But you need to have a conversation. You, need to have you a have conversation. To listen, but that you're going to do, you can't stay in my house well, I think, type of thing because. I think, well. I they think, they can have an impact there. Well, I think the thing is set standards. You exactly. know, that's cause you're not interfering in his uh, relationship. You're setting the standard. Like, no, this is acceptable. Mm. That's not acceptable. Even we're not around living it. a life like that, you know? Exactly. And Even so on. And yeah, see, you set certain it standards. Okay. Uh, and um <clears throat> Pinky Rooster says, Kimmy, I have trauma every day cause I got a <laughs> cause I got a kid. <laughs> Listen, right? And Mama knows said it goes back to how both as individuals process that trauma, as you said before. Mm-hmm. And all the time, they are not aware that they are doing the same thing they don't like done to them. Mm-hmm. That's another thing. There are a lot of things that when it's done to us, we are bothered right. by it, but we don't realize when we are the one perpetuating it. People right? be like, don't do that to me. And then you are doing you it do to the other person. Right. Exactly. You have created. I think Reese says it's called emotional manipulation. Yes. All of the big words I'm coming out today. Right. Wow. So that's another um, common event. As we say, witnessing domestic violence. Then you also have bullying. This happens a lot, especially in the schools. Yes. And this happens as adults and as, this well. Is <laughs> as well. And then even, I've and seen it. Uh, I've, yes. I've seen it in. in um well mostly shows but you know <laughs> where these kids are coming from a place where even when them reach at the workplace them still afraid of the bully yeah you yeah. get me you're gonna have the persons who are more conservative mm-hmm. and you're gonna have the people them who are push them way through the workplace yeah it's still out there so as a child all these things affect you in the long run yeah another one another common event community or school violence 
yo, the one year has been happening too frequently mm-hmm. in in our society, right? So this is something as well, not only the students involved yeah. in probably the fights or whatever, but also the onlookers as well. If you come to school and you say one other student gets stabbed up or something, that is going to be a traumatic event. Or like the one where the girl was killed. Because mm-hmm. one thing is injured, but the next time the girl, I don't remember the school, but she was killed. And yeah, yeah, in man, front that everybody. was, I think, kids so are technical. Yeah, mm-hmm. but if you've never seen that in your life, you literally just witnessed that yeah. on school component, a dead body, all of that. Like, that's, that's trauma, uh, right? That, that, I mean, my brother is older than me, a couple mm-hmm. of years, and that has affected him because mm-hmm. you know we go up in the garrison and them something they hear the pie pie them and the wife them and them something at night time and them something right now my brother you know i come back at jamaica you know? yeah so anytime he might say he watch he watch you know he watch look youtube video them and say, he might say yo i want to go to jamaica yeah mm-hmm. so right now he amplify everything that is yeah. happening here so what they uh, visit you know and they say yo bro we are gonna pass us to go show daddy them say which pa we not drive through the side <laughs> like the man yeah, that said the whole of jamaica now yeah. is a war zone because of what he experienced when exactly. he was younger but i mean we have dangerous places but the whole place not stays about you can't no, tell him that's that. how we say each yeah, person experiences it differently because you ex- you were in the same house right. and it, you it impacted you differently yeah. but for him it's like a, okay no yeah, i need to get out of here because this yeah. not look safe and yeah. i just can't feel safe here right. so that's how we say you can't necessarily judge them like okay that's a straight line yeah say everybody's this thing happens so everybody's gonna be affected this way some people just don't business some people could have seen what? these what? crimes and be like, oh, not that they do business, but some people have different strategies to cope. No, but why if they don't know that? Why, what if they don't know that they're affected? What but if that's they the think thing. They are normal. All right, because you see, all right, things with trauma, do you know? Well, based on my understanding, yeah. is usually it shows itself, right? I was so, going to get into signs right. of trauma. Soon. So it shows itself. So if you're not affected right well let's not say that it's not affected because that's gonna be it's like subtle. impossible you're gonna have some effect right some effects gonna take place but is if it's gonna be something that is impactful or something that you brush under the rug each time yeah right because sometimes it don't really affect you as much you know but sometimes it affects you and you what you call it now came you suppress it yeah and then it later comes out mm. you get me yes but, so it's all about how it plays out for you because that's how it go with me now. yeah me never, me never know so. you're traumatized yeah, but yeah yeah and sometimes it don't happen until eventually somebody I, else points out right, to you or, a signs, change happens in or you might even notice okay i have a trend of dealing with a particular situation that way maybe you know if mm. you're if you're that person that reflects and looks into yourself eventually yeah. you can pick up say all right no something must offer so you know right. um as mama knows say, as a parent once my child goes through the door for school mm-hmm. until they come back home i have anxiety no one for nothing else in my life has caused me so much trauma and i've been through some extreme traumatic events in my life that i thought were the worst until i became a parent this is a whole new level of trauma anxiety panic attacks self-blame it's name? going to What's come with it mama, mama knows, knows. Mama knows yeah, i forgot to stop that but mama knows what's in here with us the other day you now <laughs> yeah. yeah nuts the fun the, size the fun one fun size oh, 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 one oh. yes not mm-hmm. to stop that. <laughs> no, all right. Here's no the thing, though. It's, 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 it's even, as I said, these things is not necessarily that you're gonna stop it, you know. But you're gonna have to try and man- manage how how you um let it affect you. I think trauma mm. affects people you get differently, me? yeah, emotionally and physically too. So if for for females, I think sometimes we are on the emotional side of things, mm-hmm. while men are taught that they're not supposed to, or whatever reason it is that they are not. So right. allowed to be emotional More emotional so, so they're physical right so for the for us as female trauma might come like how it, it is for her mama knows that her child is out there we know what the world is like her child could be yes you know the one that stepped on somebody's shoe and the next thing she gets the call that yo listen to me miss you have to come in to come pick up your child because your child is on her and i'm not even a parent yet right (laughs) Right? so it's it's a hundred thoughts running miles on ours so i it's how we engage it and how we try to all right you know bring it down to a level where we yes and as she says sometimes because you are so scared you end up being harsh towards them by shouting or so on because as kids they don't understand what you're trying to point out it's not something you can stop. You just have to try and find um, ways to cope and move through. 
so i love i love that information that's being shared guys continue sharing your opinion sharing your feedback on the whatsapp um, line that it, that is 876-792-3530 and also on the instagram live and she says but it's way easier said than done mv mm-hmm. that's right? what i tell you it's a lot of training and thing you know because exactly. even even me myself as i say i've like during summer school time i was teaching a set of students mm-hmm. when we see how they were up and i said what up oh, I can't even turn me back to them kids mm. here because you're afraid something happened. Something Where is all your picnic, you know, so you got your parents, you can't tell the parents that this happened under your watch. Exactly. You get me? So, trust me, it, it's a, a hard thing to say, boy, I take that off of your mind because it's very hard. And then other common events that we've all probably been through our experience, natural disasters or terrorism, uh, sudden or violent loss of a loved one, mm. neglect, Serious accidents or life-threatening illness, mm-hmm. refugee or war experiences, and we might think, say, boy, Jamaica, listen, right now, Jamaica is like a war field. Yeah? No, but we do have these war experiences. Right? Well, exactly, yeah, yeah, so communities, yeah, communities yeah, that's com- in at war with yeah. each other and all. Yeah. Where some people have to uproot and go and live somewhere. Exactly. And then there right. was the whole um, extradition yeah, yeah. Yeah. session, yeah. session like, right. election time. All these things are moments. Or you can't walk on an extra right. road that belong to the south. All those time frames. Time. So right. that also mm-hmm. happens. They, they have, have brand new. They have military family related stressors. So this yeah. is like parents being deployed, mm-hmm. or your peer, mm-hmm. your father probably, or your mother really? uh, went to mm-hmm. war and never come came back, back. Mm-hmm. or yeah. or even injury. Come and you know, injured, also yeah. times these soldiers come back with their own trauma, yeah. and then you as a child have to deal with that as well. Reflect it on it reflect it mm. or they might become very violent in the home or very or angry reserved. or suicidal mm-hmm. and that also affects the children so and the last one is physical or sexual assault something we've been seeing more and more in jamaica and that sadly apparently happens as you said i think you said by the age of 16 yeah, by the age at, at least, least one of these mm-hmm. we've all been through at least one and mm-hmm. based on this list i feel like we've been through a couple of them (laughs) right so again it's important to note that these are just common examples of trauma your experiences may not reflect any of the events on this list but it was still traumatic for you and as we said earlier childhood trauma occurs more than you think more than two-thirds of children report at least one traumatic event by the age of 16 right so the impact of child traumatic stress can last well beyond childhood as i said all the way into adulthood in fact research has shown that child trauma survivors may experience learning problems including lower grades and more suspensions and expulsions so this is one of the things that you know when we have kids in the school system and they're not performing automatically we feel like oh them slow or them does not them not trying or you know them distracted sometimes it literally is trauma that they're coping with or trying to, to cope, cope with, with. Yeah. right so we can't just see low grades as okay with child not trying it can literally be a sign of a bigger problem so if you i would actually encourage all parents to look out for these things in, in your children so if they're experiencing lower grades and probably getting suspended and expelled look into that if you so see that they have to use increased use of health and mental health services so that them always if you go to the school nurse or the guidance mm. counselor chances are them struggling with something and they probably even don't feel like, like they can talk to you about right and then as as we were speaking with jody bennett earlier this uh year jody mm-hmm. bennett uh during about the back to school time look out for these signs look don't the ignore sign. these signs pay attention to how your child reacts any changes in behavior that way you'll be able to know what to communicate how to communicate and to identify if any issue is stirring up with at school or at home actually mama knows he's actually pointing out something that we both experienced she said the accident from the night and this is she and i went out mm-hmm. we w- the accident from the night we were we were in so basically the accident we were in from mm-hmm. the night still affects me greatly to the point where i'm still not comfortable driving mm-hmm. especially since it wasn't something i could control and it doesn't seem to have affected kim that much or as it is we may have dealt with it differently as passenger and driver perspectives you know so we are different so she was pointing out that we can have the same exact experience and take have two different takeaways from it right Mm -hmm. and then you have long health problems that's another impact of trauma Mm -hmm. so like when you have kids getting sick we're not used to kids getting sick and we're not about flu one them something there Mm -hmm. but when you have a child experiencing 
so um diabetes and heart disease yeah. and them something that Those. sometimes signs of a bigger issue it could be trauma and right? then um well pinky brewster says well trauma either makes you or break you and i think people need to be patient with other people exactly because in this generation people are afraid to ask for help we don't know what them are going through but we just have to try and be patient exactly yeah. and two other signs of um and of course there's more but two mm -hmm. others i can mention is increased involvement with child welfare or juvenile justice system so the people that were always not the, the children yeah, who always not pr seen, trouble, um, problem with police yes. or the the cda for come for them because them parents no you know and all don't supposed to do so the cda getting involved government getting involved all these things are trauma and the final one is also substance abuse when you check it out, especially like the man in the corner, what always oh, or what them and me go, mm -hmm. it's a sign of trauma. There's something that they're not dealing with, mm -hmm. and just see it as okay, this is just my life, this is my lifestyle. But chances are, it's not. There's a deeper thing there why they feel like they need to exist under this substance. And not only that, too, you have a past, you look a lick, I get a picnic in my daytime, sip some of this, sip some of this, mm -hmm. take a puff, take a puff. Yeah, later down in her life is a different thing. I, exactly. I saw where trauma had affected affected a schoolmate of mine. I was, was back in first form. My grandmother was in the hospital and we were going to KPH very regularly to look for her. And while there, there was this a girl. I went to the, I went to all girls school and she was there on the bed and we're like, Why? I know her face. So I went over to her. She was in the hospital bed across from my mom, my grandma. And, you know, I went over. I was like, hi, how are you? You feeling okay? Just trying to ask, why are you here? And she's like, she tried to kill herself. She tried to commit suicide because her mother's boyfriend came into the room while she was sleeping. And he did what he did. And he kept doing it. And it reached to a point where her mom's a nurse one day her mom came home with pills and she took all of them drank the substance and went she drank bleach with it and went to bed and i am sitting there like and my mom came over and she was talking to her and she's like you know my mom tries to be miss jen for everybody so she started to tell her if he comes back again what put something beside your bed you tried to tell your mom and her mom wasn't listening and now it reached a stage where she could have lost her daughter yeah so that's why we need to understand guys like trauma is a very serious thing but we do have more to say about it and more uh feedback that i see on the live and probably on the whatsapp as well so guys we're gonna go to the break after the break we'll continue the conversation <laughs> 